Self-improvement. Who is that self that is trying to improve itself? It can only be the real self. Who's behind that? I really want to improve myself. Who is that me who wants to improve itself? The further you examine, the more you realize you are in a hall of mirrors. There is the ultimate eternal self. And then there is the self concept. Society runs around this concept, runs around trying to achieve something beyond ourselves. Self-improvement, self-development is a buzzword. Everywhere you look now has something to do with self-improvement. Have this in your life and this will add something else, something better into your life. Accumulating, accumulating, accumulating more knowledge, more spiritual nuggets, more goods, better products. You do realize that this whole self-improvement belies a chronic anxiety. The anxiety that we're not good enough, that we need to try harder, do more, force the situation, use willpower, you'll get there. Fight the good fight. By all means, improve yourself. I'm not saying don't. And I'm not saying just settle for less. The message here is before you do any, any form of self-improvement, accept yourself. Totally. Unconditionally. The first step, which is also the most difficult thing to do in life, is to accept yourself as you are, completely and utterly. Accept yourself. How can you go? launch yourself into any sort of self-improvement or self-development if at root, at your core, you don't fully accept what has been and who you are now. Yes, there were mistakes, there were flaws, imperfections along the way. That has made you into what you are now. I'm not saying this is to accept less or to accept one's so-called mediocrity. There's nothing to do with that. The key at least the first key is self-acceptance so hard to do, isn't it? And then people talk about, oh, you need to love yourself more and love others more. How can you even do that if you haven't even gotten to the acceptance bit first? You've bypassed the whole acceptance. And then you think you're going to make this quantum leap into self-love and loving others. First, you must fully accept yourself. And by extension, your circumstances. And accept others as they are. They are who they are. You can't change who they are, but you can change your frame. How you see them. Take for a practical instance this very video you're watching here. Now, I know full well I could easily pimp it up for industry standard. High definition. 
more promotions, give us a like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Know that this is just conforming to the dominant paradigm. Maybe I'll get there one day, eventually, but I'll do it organically. This is the other point. Not to force the situation, but just let it happen naturally. Otherwise, you're just doing yourself a disservice by trying to keep up with the Joneses. Do it in your own way. In your own way.